Thanks for inviting me. Um, I would like to talk uh, today about uh, advances in virtual reality and also augmented yeah. reality streaming. Uh, and I'd like uh, to start off with uh, some motivation that is rather obvious if you're in any way listening to you know the media and the discussion about the modern technology. So uh, uh, the largest social media company in the world is now betting the future of their enterprise on the development of what uh, they call the metaverse, um, which is essentially a three-dimensional um, live representation of a, a, a you know, an, an internet-based communication space. Uh, the definition really varies a lot since the original description comes from Neil Stevenson's science fiction novels. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, guessing involved. Uh, but it is definitely a compelling concept. And now um, everybody wants to build the metaverse. All the companies are now rallying to... Uh, build the metaverse in one way or another, depending on, on their interpretation. Uh, it's hard enough to distill some common requirements that underlie this, this effort. But I would say that obviously it's a lot about, uh, you know, social communication. So one goal is to connect people across the world in a more lively manner than was previously possible with uh, you know, classical social media like Facebook and, and, and Instagram, which are mostly based on, on text and, and pictures, maybe to some degree. Um, so the whole thing is now a three-dimensional idea. There should be access to new forms of content that is three-dimensional, that uh, uh, is uh, that represents a virtual world. People should go to remote, should, people should be enabled to go to remote places, either physically existing places or fantasy places. And uh, it's foreseen that there will be a strong impact on application areas that are already driven by, by internet media, such as, uh, you know, online games, e-commerce, learning, conferencing, and, and so on. Um, I would argue that a lot of the what I mean, massive online games probably already represent to some degree what this vision of, of the metaverse is about. And uh, uh, since this is very bandwidth intensive, um, there's also technology to be developed. So we, we do have some existing technology to deliver uh, three dimensional interactive images. Uh, uh, commercial services in the computer games 